Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to iMedia TV. I'm your host, from iMedia TV, and today I want to talk about Excel. Specifically, that uh, after 40 odd years of existence, Excel, I feel, is in a place of where it is not particularly good at anything except for some very niche things that can also be done by other applications. And I want to talk about those scenarios. So I'm going to be, so the the thing that triggered my desire to make this video, sorry, my hair's wet, I just got out of the shower, was this tweet by Link on Blue Sky. And it was, happy 39th birthday, Microsoft Excel, why Microsoft Excel refuses to die. And, you know, ADHD does be ADHD, and I went through a cacophony of thoughts all in one that made, that made me want to make this video, and I responded, this post elicited something in me that is a deep, confounding rage. Congratulations, I am going to spend my morning tomorrow making a video raging about Excel and how it actually does nothing well and nobody should really use it. And this is that video. Let's get started, shall we? So the first... so. This is what Excel looks like for the uninitiated. This is not Excel proper because I refuse to give Microsoft money. They can take it from my cold, dead hands. This is LibreOffice Calc, which is basically the open software version of Excel and it basically does everything that Excel already does. And the purpose of Excel is two things. One, creating data sets by the way of tables. And two, uh, displaying that data in usable, useful ways. Now, I will say that the tools for making PowerPoints and showing data, you know, those, broadly speaking, are, you know, it, it is still good at that. But from as a data management suite, it is godforsakenly terrible. And let me explain why. So. For those who don't know, I am a software developer by trade, and that is how I at least attempt to make most of my actual money. And one of the parts of software development is database management, being able to pull data into a application and use it. Here's the problem. Ex there are many people that treat Excel as a glorified database. I have heard horror stories of multi-gigabyte sized Excel sheets with tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of lines of entries to the point where if you try and open that file on the wrong type of computer, that bitch crashes. And so you wonder, why why do people do that it's because of a either lack of technical ability or a desire not to hire somebody with technical ability to make a tra traditional database they are just pulling data from it either using you know some scripts or applications or they're opening it and just searching for things manually it is a deeply inefficient way of managing data it is better to just have a database with a bunch of tables that you can just pull in programmatically but Let's say, you know, of course, that, you know, not everybody wants to, you know, spend the money to do shit properly. Fine. You know, many a boomer doesn't want to do that. So the question is, what do you do? What, like, let's say you want to use it as a database. What do you do? Well, you, you export it as a CSV, but then you have to export it every time you want to use it. And every time you change it, you have to, ch you have to save and, re and redistribute the file which can lead to database discrepancies because human error is one of the biggest aspects of both security breaches and, you know, um, big mistakes. Human error is the, that is by and large the vast majority of, you know, uh, issues in, in code, you know, not always obviously, but it, it is more likely to that be human error than anything else. So, you know, when I was working at J.P. Morgan Chase uh, in in consumer investment banking, specifically during my apprenticeship, one of the things that they would do is constantly send each other uh, different data sets, and they were constantly manipulating them and editing them and resubmitting them and doing all of this. And 
the amount of time spent, I even spent, looking over data sets and making sure that they were consistent and that the data was correct was absurd. I was a developer at the time. I just ended up in a more data analytics position and I was and I was trying desperately to get better at Python to the point where I could just do it. And unsurprisingly, you know, one of my coworkers was able to figure out like, oh, like we can just use this shit and just da da da, -da and it's done. Because one of the problems with having people sending all of these data sets to each other is you don't have if, if all of the if, if the edit history is spread across multiple different files across multiple different devices and it's not being tracked, people could in theory, you know, disingenuously edit things. And if it's not caught by another person, it just gets passed on like that. That is a deeply, deeply dangerous thing to do. You know, so another reason why you shouldn't be using Excel is because, you know, unless it's always online in in and you're and you're not just copying pasting things to other files and stuff you're not going to have a commit history a, a edit history which will lead to discrepancies not being caught until it's far far too late so it doesn't work as a database it doesn't work as a it does it, it, it doesn't really work as a you know um uh a data sharing uh medium so what about just you know, making a thing that is just, I don't know, just keeping track of like small amounts of data for personal use. Oh, well, a this is a good example. Motherfucker, stupid. Sorry about that. Uh, let me just scroll in real quick. I'll show an example. This is my content schedule. I do it. It's color coded. This it says when stuff is certain stuff is supposed to come out. Last date, notes on certain uh, things and all that. I use it for this. But objectively, there are better ways for this. There are to do apps. There are um, scheduling apps. In fact, I would even argue another product by Google, Google Calendar is significantly better at this and also has tasks and stuff for you to remember like if you look here i have you know making certain podcasts and stuff be taken care of so there are better there are better options for um there are better options for uh personal tracking there's better options for data management and there's better options for databases well you might be saying well evan you know sometimes you just want to be able to you know quickly send out a data sheet to somebody so that that they get a quick little thing of what they do and you know it's, it's just quicker it's easy to do it that way good point you know what you can use with that and it just it interfaces with excel and does it you know itself Y'all ever heard of something called Pandas? Pandas is quite literally a data analysis suite in, in Python that's entire purpose is to manipulate, edit, and, and, and create data sets without ever happening having to open Excel. You can literally just pull your data in from X, Y, or Z, move it over to something else, and never have to open Excel in the slightest. So you, there's that that's not even an excuse. So to recap. Excel is not good as a database. It's not good as as a quick way to share data. It's not good as a way as as even a uh, it's not it's not a, a resilient way of doing data analytics. And it's not even the best way to manage personal like data and lists. Why is why won't Excel die? It is simply because it has been the industry standard for so long, so many people learn on it, so many people use it, and it is still being used widely all across the world by so many people. Are there? Should it be around? Probably not. Does it have its use cases at least in interfacing with like scripting and stuff? 
Sure, I'll even give that. Is it good to be able to man use to manually edit a, a CSV file in a database just quickly before passing on? You know what? Fair. But by and large, my point is, is that there are other tools, there are other things that do all of everything that Excel wants to do, but better. You want to know all the functions and calculations and all that great stuff that Excel can do? You want to know what can also do that? A computer programming script. You want to know why? Because I make them. So yeah, that's the video. I wanted to rant for a little bit about why Excel is bad, um, why it won't die, and, you know, ultimately, you know, we have a lot more developers now in, in the year of early 2024 than we had before, and maybe the data analytics side of things will end up, especially since, you know, certain automation tools and stuff like that are very prevalent. You know, Excel might be on the way out sooner or later than people think. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hivmedia.gg slash Discord. Discord link's there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hivmedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boon to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.